Hello everyone, and welcome back to Science Corner. Today, we're going to explore the concepts of evolution and phylogenetic trees as we learn about new discoveries in the field of evolutionary science. Now, many of you know that evolution is the process of, by which different kinds of living organisms are thought to have developed and diversified from earlier forms during the history of the Earth. But did you know that we are still finding new species every year? The phylogenetic trees keep shifting, and we have brought an evolution expert to help explain why. Hello everyone, I'm the spectacled bear, here to explain the basics of my evolutionary history. North and South American short-faced bears are a part of a subfamily called Tremarctinae, which is native to the Western Hemisphere. These bears weighed as much as 1,000 kilograms, which is equal to 2,200 pounds. The South American short-faced bears went extinct during the early Pleistocene. The North American short-faced bears outlived their South American relatives, going extinct at the very end of the Pleistocene. Today, the spectacled bear is the only living Tremectinae. That's me. Spectacled bears are found only in South America. We just received information about a groundbreaking scientific discovery relating to the case of short-faced bears. A femur bone was found in Chile. Let's cut to the field. We found something! I think it's a femur bone! Welcome back to Science Corner. Last week, we talked about Tremarctinae bears and saw the discovery of a femur bone. This week, we have our evolution expert and the scientist who discovered the bone here to explain the details of their study. I'm so glad you guys could make it to our show. So, what can you tell us about your findings? It's good to be here, Addie. Basically, the discovery of the Arctotherium femur was the key to determining the evolutionary history of North and South American short-faced bears and their relationship to the spectacled bear. So, how did you study the bone that you found? Basically, we sequenced its mitochondrial DNA and performed molecular phylogenetic analyses. This allowed us to create a genome that could be compared to other already known genomes. So, what does that mean for the North and South American bears? Basically, um, contrary to what was thought in the past, the data supported convergent evolution of North and South short-faced bears. North and South American short-faced bears do not form a monophyletic clade like we originally thought. We believe that the divergence happened in the late Miocene or Pliocene era. For any viewers that don't know, convergent evolution is a process in which organisms that are not closely related independently evolve similar traits as a result of similar environments or ecological niches. So basically, my spectacle bear species is more closely related to South American bears than South American bears are related to North American bears, right? That's exactly right. Our phylogenetic analyses actually prove that. Thanks for coming. Let's switch over to your partner for an explanation of the data. All right. Hey, guys. Before the scientists start talking, here's some background info about phylogenetic trees. Basically, you start with a root, and you get to a node, which indicates a common ancestor, and is where it branches out. At the end here are taxa, which indicate species. And branches are where the species evolves into other species. The entire thing is called a clade. And in this experiment, we're talking about monophyletic clades, which is where all the descendants and ancestors are included together. If, for instance, you had another descendant over here that was not included, you would not have a monophyletic clade. And that's that. Okay. So, with the evidence we've collected from our research, we've constructed a phylogenetic tree. The colors indicate distribution, where the blue is North America and the red is South America. The nodes represent estimations of the average age. The focus of our study, Arctinus simus and Arctotherium angustinus, are seen here to be part of the Tremarctinae subfamily. Both of these bears became extinct during the early Pleistocene, as you can see here. However, Arctotherium angustinus became extinct toward the beginning, while Arctinus simus went extinct toward the very end. Through the sequencing of, our, of the mitochondrial genome from the femur bone we discovered, we were able to determine that the South American short-faced bears were actually more closely related, related to the South American spectacle bears than they were to the North American short-faced bears, as seen here by their position on the phylogenetic tree. 
Okay, so this suggests that the two short-faced bears evolved through convergent evolution rather than a recent common ancestor. Thank you all for coming. It's been a pleasure to have you all on the show. I hope all the viewers out there learned something. I'll see you next week here on Science Corner.